Hi guys, John here. This vid we will be grabbing the Rip and Tear Trophy. This requires you to slay five zombies with the supercharged Ripper. And this can be purchased at the start of the game at the vending machine right over here. Then once you've purchased that, you need to kill zombies in quick succession and the Ripper will start to turn. It'll automatically start to turn and automatically stop when you stop killing zombies. As you can see here, um, it'll start turning in a second once it gets going, then kill five zombies while the Ripper is at supercharged state. Then after that, you need to complete the entire game and then speed to Grace to finish the last mission and you will get the Saw Blade Launcher, which I will show you in a couple of minutes. Now with the Saw Blade Launcher, you'll need to upgrade it as best you can. I would recommend just going for damage because you want to bisect five zombies and this means, you know, cut them in half pretty much. To do this, you can hold down the R2 button, hold down the fire button until it loads up a couple of the saw blades and then release the button to actually shoot the saw blades at a zombie so that's pretty straightforward remember guys i'll be doing a full collectibles guide i'm doing a video that is just has everything i want to build on the video i did for um the horse dlc or house should i say the video upcoming will have absolutely everything from slayer cards to lock boxes to named zombies absolutely everything so look forward to that later on today but guys if you are enjoying the content pretty please smash the like button for me lots more vids on the way so thanks for watching i want to catch you on the next one down the line